Good evening, everybody. So today's gospel follows the gospel of last week, talking about the Sermon on the Hill, the Sermon on the Mount of Jesus. And today, Jesus offers it's one of us, the mission, the vocation, and the responsibility of each one of us in our life. He offers us two missions. The first, you are the salt of the earth. And the second, you are the light of the world. These missions give us opportunity to remember, to consider our identity of a Catholic, a Christian in our life. And being short and light is not optional because in the gospel, Jesus did not say, you can be or you might be Instead, Jesus said, you are, you are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. And that's why it's a mission, it's a commandment for each one of us to follow him. So the message of today's gospel is not only for the crowd and the people in Jesus' time, but also is the message for its one of us. And in the day gospel, we heard the people coming from Jerusalem, coming from Galilee, coming from many regions, many different places of the Jews and the Gentiles. And this means Everybody is looking for Jesus. They're looking for Jesus for a purpose, for healing. And we are called to do the same. We come to Jesus for a purpose. We come to Jesus for healing. We come to Jesus for many reasons of our spiritual life. And Today, Jesus is speaking to his one of us. You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. And we are called to become the salt of the earth to flavor our life, to, to season and transform the life of others as well. And we are called to become the light of the world, to enlighten the dark places of our life, in our family, in our community, and in our heart. And in the Bible, the metaphor of salt and light have many different meanings. In the Old Testament, the thought is a metaphor appearing when happening any new covenant between God and his people. And the image of light is a metaphor that comes from prophet Isaiah where the light is the life and understanding of God coming to his people, including the Gentiles. And today, Jesus combines thought and light to request his disciples and request his one of us to be messengers of new covenant, of new testament, in our life. So, what are the purposes of salt and light? I enjoy cooking, 
and like cooking, and I believe many of you enjoy cooking as well, and we understand how important thought is in cooking. So, normally, thought has three purposes. The first, to enhance the taste of food. The second, to preserve food. And the third, to purify everything. So, thought enhances the taste of food, and likewise, thought enhances our spiritual life as well. We enhance the life of others by our love, by our sacrifice, by our compassion, and we enhance the life of others by bringing the good news to them. And we are called to add the spice, the spice of love, the spice of beauty and humility into the life of others. And the second, thought preserves food. And likewise, we are called to preserve our life by chastity, by justice, by temperance. And we also preserve the life of others by our justice, by our sacrifice as well. And the third, thought purifies everything. We purify our life and the life of others by the disciplines of the gospel and by the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And in that way, we can become the thought purifying our life and the life of others. Brothers and sisters, thought makes people thirsty. And that's why if we eat too much salt, we are thirsty. We drink much water. But in our spiritual life, we are called to make people thirsty, not to drink more water, but we are called to make people thirsty for Jesus Christ, thirsty for compassion, thirsty for righteousness, thirsty for love and for mercy. And that's why we are called to become the salt of the earth, as Jesus mentioned. How about the light? The purpose of light is to shine brightly, to illuminate, and the world needs our light because the world needs Jesus Christ. And the light is a symbol of knowledge, of our understanding about God and about people. And to become a light is to become a witness of Jesus and to recognize the identity of Jesus in our life, to become more like Jesus in our life. And in the Gospel of St. John, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. But in today's Gospel, Jesus emphasizes, you are the light of the world. We are not the light by ourselves, but we share the light of Jesus to others. We, light, we are the light of Jesus when we walk with him, when we live with him, and in that way, we can try and illuminate our life among people. Brothers and sisters, today, 
gospel is a good message for each one of us to consider, to make some questions about our life, about our life. So we made a question, where are the salt and the light in our life? And what do the salt and the light look like? So the salt and light look like the light of Jesus. Salt and light are the life of prayer. As Pope Francis mentions, prayer is what lights up Christian life. And that's why we consider salt and light as the life of Christ. Moreover, salt and light are the life of showing compassion, showing love and sacrifice to others. Thought and light is the life of rebuilding our relationship, reconcile ourselves to God and to people. And thought and light are the life of loving God and loving others. That is the deep meaning of thought and life in the day gospel and in our life. Brothers and sisters, let us consider the, this, this meaning of thought and life in our life. If we cannot become the light of Christ, we are called to become a beacon of hope or a candle of love to burn in our life. Let people taste the thought and the light of our life. Do not lose the taste of love, the taste of compassion, the taste of mercy in our life. Do not lose the identity of a Catholic. God has created it's one of us and to invite us to become salt and light. And we are called to become who God wants us to be. Amen.